Be friendly plants in Harwood Garden. Budlia globosa. Now this is a very unusual variety of Budlia and the bees go absolutely crazy for it. They love it. And it's got a quite a pungent fragrance too. And I'm not too sure if I quite like the fragrance to be honest. But there definitely is a scent there. And the bees go crazy. They absolutely adore it. And I have this in my front garden. And it flowers for a few weeks. And then it's over for the rest of the year. Now this particular Budlia is not very happy to be pruned. So put it in a place where you can just let it grow. Quite a slow grower for a Budlia. Because most of the varieties are very fast growers. But not this one. Quite slow and it behaves itself. Rambling Rector Rose. This is a once flowering Rambling Rose and the bees absolutely love it. It flowers profusely once from early summer to midsummer. You get a huge flush of roses and then it's done for the year and the bees are happy. They can't get enough of it and it's one to grow in the garden. Nautia Macedonia, a variety of scabious, otherwise known as pincushion flower. Allium eros, this is a really good variety for naturalizing and they're really so beautiful to look at. I grow these beside the pond and I sometimes take a chair sit next to the alliums right beside the pond and I just love to sit and watch them. They love this variety. And for an allium, they're a really lovely pastel shade of purple. Just glorious and they're really good as well as a cut flower. So really you can't go wrong with this plant. And they come back year after year and they come back more vigorous and more beautiful. It's really important that you let the foliage die back once the bloom has spent and all the goodness will go back into the bulb. Rhododendron. Now you can get rhododendrons that flower so many different times of the year and if you plant wisely you will have a rhododendron in bloom for most of the year but I have several and this is one of the early summer flowering ones and as you can see for yourself the bees go crazy for this they love it unfortunately it doesn't have fragrance now you can buy some rhododendrons that are fragrant so i would suggest do your research and you can't go wrong and the bees will thank you and you will be really grateful you planted them because they're so beautiful. This particular variety has variegated leaves, gorgeous. Now this is a Cenophis Victoria. Bees absolutely love it and it has a powdery, powdery lilac fragrance. And I planted this about five years ago and it's gone absolutely huge. And each year, each year just gets more beautiful, more blooms, smells gorgeous. And the bees are so happy with it. They love it. Aquilegia, this is a perennial. Now, so easy to sow the seed. They will grow one year and then in the second year and every year after, they will bloom to the heart's content in the spring and early summer and they are beautiful. You can get them in so many different shades, so many different varieties and you'd be amazed. You need to have aquilegia in your garden. I wouldn't be without it. I have purple, white, blue, 
yellow oh my goodness there's the color spectrum is insane and these were given to me by my neighbor and the first year i was disappointed thinking oh they're not blooming but i didn't realize they didn't bloom until the second year salvia east friesland now the bees love salvia i've got about three or four different varieties in the garden and you'll always hear the buzz of a bee next to them please please grow salvia you won't be disappointed tritalia queen fabiola now i must confess i've had this in the garden for about four years and i didn't know what it was called and in one of my previous videos i asked my youtube viewers did anyone know what it was and you came to my rescue and now i know and the bees love it digitalis a beautiful biennial i wouldn't be without this in the garden now this is a perennial helianthus okay so that's my little video um, for today there are so many different variety of bee loving plants that you can plant i suggest you to go to Google, have a good search and get planting. Our bees are so important. We have to look after them. Thanks for watching my short video on bee loving plants. Now I grow a hell of a lot more bee loving flowers as well. And the video could go on for hours. So I just wanted to select a few to inspire you and hopefully you can get planting in your garden too. Thanks for watching.